Uh, <laughs> it was good. It's been about three months since I've last posted a video. Uh, but I'm here to vent. Not even gonna lie, I'm here to 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 completely vent on uh, all the stuff and all the emotions I've had inside. Not really all of it, but me trying to you know fix myself as an individual and uh, coming on here to to say that I don't know what the fuck to do. Uh, to be 100% honest, on my personal issues, for the most part, a lot of personal issues, from, you know, from back then. But I've been fixing been fixing them as the years go by. But there's always been one issue. There's always been that one issue that has, like, never went away. Back then, it used to be, like, not as apparent. But then as more and more time came in, you know. And, and, and the older I got, the more and more, uh, it, 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 the more and more it showed up. And it's, it's, it's been unbearable. To make it easier for me to explain this, I would just have to say, it, right, you know. I would like to say it's laziness. That is 100% one of the issues that I have. And back then I used to think it was, oh, I was burnt out or I was not motivated enough. But now I'm to a point that I'm like figuring out, like even when motivated, I still don't do a lot of the stuff that I'm motivated to do, right? And you would think like, oh, you can't be motivated and not wanting to do something at the same time. How I see it is more like, I really want to do this thing. Let's give it an example. I don't know. I wake up in the morning and I want to get on my PC, right? But uh, how I see myself and how I portray myself or how I've been understanding myself better is um that I'm like matter, right? And I am made of matter, no shit, right? But I am like matter, you know, the it, it, stay, it likes to stay in the state that it's at. So I'll be in my bed stuck three, four, five hours, right? Before I even get up and do something, right? And constantly on that, like, four or five hours, you know, obviously I'm watching a video, but obvi obviously I'm watching videos at that time, right? Or, like, I'm scrolling through something or I'm watching something or texting somebody, like, and I'm just there, like, having this mental battle inside of my head. Like, hey, yo, we got to get up, bro. We got to do something. Let's go. And it's just that big weight of <sighs> laziness that just completely destroys those thoughts so i didn't explain this well so i'm explaining it now in better terms so uh this laziness comes out of nowhere and completely eradicates these thoughts that i have of trying to get up and not necessarily actually how i explained it here was like it eradicates them or whatever but in actuality right like it suppresses them it's like hey chill out hey we you know like let's not do this right now i don't feel like doing it i'm not comfortable doing all this stuff and it's uh it it mainly goes like this right i start thinking for like a good i don't know like a good two three minutes uh while i'm scrolling through tiktok or watching a youtube video and out of nowhere the laziness comes in and then i start getting comfortable with that laziness and that comfortability that i'm on my bed and, and then my brain starts to switch saying like hey you know what let's start doing this it starts making excuses for itself right like, hey, you know, we could do this tomorrow. No biggie. Don't worry. Take your time on this. It's better if you take your time. You know how it is when you rush stuff and, and they don't come out as good as you want them. Like stuff labs start coming up with these very, these very tactical excuses to get out of my, to not make me get out of my comfort zone. And even making this video, like I've been battling with myself the whole day trying to do this shit. And, and it's. It's, it's actually crazy on how 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 the brain works. It's very, it's very weird how, how the brain works and how it tries to continue keeping you down. And you yourself have to overcome those other that other side of you completely overcome that. And you can't eradicate it. It would always be there for it would always be there being the main obstacle. Again, I explained this, like I explained like the, the mental part of this later in the video, but to summarize it a little bit, your brain really loves playing tricks on you. You are literally the only obstacle. There's no other obstacle that can actually literally stop you unless it's something physical and even with a physical obstacle, you can still overcome it with your mind. And I understand, you know, that, that you still got to push through as a person, as an individual, you got to pursue those, those, those things. But it's it's it's, a, it's an extremely difficult task to do, and I don't understand how to get out of 
the, the, the one obstacle that's been fucking me dry ever since the beginning of time. And I don't understand how to get out of that loop. There's other ties, there's other things, other problems, right, that I also have to myself, but that I, that I also have, like, personally, that I have, right? But, you know, those also tie into the laziness factor, right? Like how I'm a pathological flaw. I'm a pathological liar. I'm an excuse maker. I'm also a person that doesn't persevere, at least how he used to anymore. I see it as something that's completely useless and something that I shouldn't do for myself since we're already going to die anyways. And these are the mentalities or the, the things that I speak of, which is insanity. I, I don't understand how I can have this, this negative outlook on life. And still just continue living it like if it's nothing and there's nothing wrong and acting acting like there's nothing wrong that I can fix. I really do think that I'm extremely useless all the time. And I know so and I know and I'm trying to, you know, use my lying skills to try to help me out in this way, you know, try to lie to myself that I'm better, try to lie to myself that I'm like I lie so well that I lie to myself and I sometimes believe it. And forget that the actual truth behind some of the statements that I've said before, right? I've kind of, I've, I've learned, a, I've learned to try to find a loophole towards it, and I, I have, but that also requires at now at the moment, you know, mental strength to actually get up, right, and do that. The loophole I have is watching anime, right, or like watching a show. It doesn't even have to; it just has to be a show, and I can get my ass up and do something once I watch the show. Because when I watch the show, I can't sit still. I can't. I cannot sit still. I can't. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, right? I was watching Stranger Things, right? Uh, I watched the first episode. And you know how those are. Those are like 40 minutes, and I dragged it on from 40 to 50 minutes to an hour and an, into an hour and a half because I kept. I kept, I kept getting excited, kept talking to myself, kept theorizing. And at the time, at the same time, I was brushing my teeth. I was, I was washing dishes. I was doing, I was doing stuff in the process. And that's my stuff. That's the only reason why I'm even doing this video in the first place, right? Because, uh, I watched anime in the beginning, in, in, the, in, in the morning. I woke up. I was there for like 20, maybe 30 minutes. I look at my phone. I'm like, you know what? Let me watch it. Let me watch a little bit of this. Let me watch a little bit of that. It's just a little bit. It's just a little bit. And I watched two episodes of season two of Uzaki Chan's Uzaki Chan wants to hang out. That got me very motivated and wanted wanting to do stuff. Like I washed, I washed my clothes. I came here. I brushed my teeth. I showered. Like I did stuff today that I don't feel like a complete wreck. Right. The only thing I really didn't do was cook, but I bought food. Right. At, at least I bought food. Right. Did something. <laughs> but again, as I said, I'm just just venting out because I really don't know what to do. So I just gotta, I just gotta talk to somebody, you know, I don't, I don't understand. Yeah. You know, I don't, I, I don't, I don't understand what to do. I need the help as much help as I can get to try to, to try to, you know, move forward. You know, like I'm still stuck in this little bubble of comforting comfort zone that I'm trying to get into the uncomfortable unknown zone, but I can't reach that outer layer yet. You know, I can't reach it because I'm still here stuck in this stupid fucking bubble that I want to escape, but I can't, I can't escape it because I'm so engulfed in it that it's just that, that, any little outsiding of it, I always want to crawl right back in. And I understand, right? And I understand that you have to, that, that you, I have to make it myself. I have to do it myself, but I just need some type of, some type of like little tip or little trick. I don't know. I just need something. I need something. I need something. I don't, I need something. I need something.